hello everybody and welcome to another flutter video tutorial in this video uh, we are going to talk about a useful widget called media query uh, so when we are dealing with multiple screen so we need to know about the media query and also how we can make the responsive screen for our app so today we are going to discuss about that so before I gonna start the coding if you are new in this channel and still you are not subscribed to our channel so you can subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for not losing other videos and let's go to the code and start by our project so as you can see on the screen I created a fresh project uh, as always it has a main function and also a build method that return a material app inside we have the title media query and also inside its home we have the home class that as I defined it down here so inside the home we have our build method and it returned the scaffold app bar and the title text to media query inside the body of this we have a column and a thing inside the children so let's start with the media query so guys when we are dealing with multiple screen we have to got one thing that is the size of the screen so in flatter how we can get the size of our screen so we can get it by the help of media query so how let's do it so let's create width and height variable double width screen width is equal to um, media query dot of context and it will give us the size that we can use it what size we are going to use we are going to take the width so now we have the width inside let's get the height also height and let's change this also to height inside the children of this column I'm going to mm, use the text widget this is the device size and by calling our variable screen width and let's give an X here and also let's put a dollar sign screen height and a comma at the end and let's save it so let's run our app for showing this I'm going to use the Chrome web and let's run it uh, so guys as you can see we have our app running uh, this is our text and uh, this is the size of our screen now you can see is uh, 1 200 by 610 and let's right click in the on the page and choose the inspect in here you can choose this uh, toggle device toolbar and now in here you can use this portion uh, there are multiple screen sizes and multiple devices that we can choose for example I'm gonna use the Galaxy S5 so now you can see that uh, our 360 by 640 and also you can change it to iPhone X for example and also you can see the screen 375 by mm, 12 and also you can see here so we can get this uh, size of our screen by the help of media query so now when we got our screen size so we can do multiple things with our screen size so let's go back in the code let's use the trainary operator that if as, uh, if the screen width is greater than equal to uh, 1280 and also the screen height is greater than equal to 780 720 then we are going to show a container and we will uh, give it the property else we are going to put the column and show another container so let's bring them down and let's give our container also width and height width of 200 by 
height of 800 for example and also the color of the container we can give a color colors dot indigo uh, let's give this property to other container also like let's change the color for this container to amber and also let's change this by 200 also you can give any number of screen you want in this version to compare it so let's save this and let's see on our chrome uh, so guys as you can see now we have our container our amber color container which is 200 by 200 because of our screen uh, screen size our screen size is uh, 375 uh, by uh, 812 so that's why it's showing the yellow container or the amber color container if we change the screen size like uh, i'm gonna change it to another size we can see in this size also we didn't got our second our first container and let's see in this so it's also small and when we check it iphone x or ipad uh, when we are inside a ipad uh, so let's change it to ipad pro um, so let's rotate this so as you can see by rotating our device we got our other container by the indigo color so we can change the screen sizes as we code inside here we can change this to any screen we want so let's change it to 400 the height of our first container and let's go back to so let's go to ipad pro again and let's rotate it so now as you can see we have the 400 by 200 mm, our container and if i go back to another uh, screen size like uh, iphone x and as you can see now we have the uh, other screen size and the other container so i hope uh, you understand the screen sizes and media query in here that how you can change the screen size and also the content inside your uh, screen when someone use in a bigger size like inside the ipad our design for them and and also those who are using in mobile phone so you can show them the different screen another thing that we can use by the media query is uh, the screen orientation so let's create another uh, double screen orientation is equal to media query dot of context this time we are not going to use the size we are going to use the orientation dot orientation so using the orientation and put the semicolon at the end of this so also i change the type from double to or let's go and use it here so i'm going to uh, use the text view inside this text view i can say that this is the portrait view so now before i'm going to give this text uh, let's uh, check the orientation by typing the screen orientation if the screen orientation is equal to orientation dot portrait I'm going to show this text view else if the orientation is landscape then we are going to show the other text view which is called this is the landscape uh, so guys it's done and let's bring uh, this column at the center also uh, let's wrap it with the center widget here and let's save it let's go to our google chrome so guys as you can see now we have uh, all of them all our widget at the center and also we have uh, this our text telling us this is the portrait view uh, so if i gonna change it to landscape by clicking here and now you can see that when we are in landscape uh, so it tag the landscape message uh, so guys i hope you understand about this media query and also about the 
uh, screen sizes, how you can get it and how you can use it in uh, multiple uh, screen sizes and also the portrait and landscape mode of your application. So guys, thank you for watching and uh, if you like it, you can thumbs up and if you are not still subscribed, you can uh, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for not losing other videos. Thank you guys and see you on the next video.